But the first level is to ask, who am I? Why am I here? What's my goal in life? You know how many people don't bother to discuss that? You see them doing the dumbest things, using the foulest language, languages. You find them running for the most mundane material things in life. You're looking at them like, are you serious? You really? Yeah, my dream is to have that. And I'll kill to have it. I said, that's it? That's your dream? That's what you've concluded? Your purpose in this short world that you're living in? This short life? You know how short this life is? If you're 90 years of age, which is a long period, 90, 90 is an old person. 30 years of the 90 years, the person was sleeping. You're left with 60. 30 of those 60, you were busy working. You're left with 30 years. If you and I live to be 90, most people don't live to be 90. The average lifespan is 70. So bring it down to 20 years. You mean I pursued all these dreams for 20 years? And if I ask you for that 20 years, give me a videotape of what is your most profound moments in life? Maybe 100 hours, 200 hours? You mean this world was only worth 200 hours for me? Allah says, yeah. You love this world. The year after is what's forever. You are fooling yourselves into thinking something's important here. But when a person needs to sit down and say, yes, what's, what, why am I here? You know, I speak in universities. I, I get non-Muslim audiences. After my lecture, you see youth come to me. I say, wow, never thought this way. You're right. I said, look, I'm not here to proselytize. I'm not here to make you a Muslim. I'm here to wake you up. You choose your own way. You're smart enough. You're sharp enough. You know, you've been planted with some of the greatest gifts you can ever imagine. And I'm here to strike them. And you strike me too. Let's wake each other up. There's a purpose in this life. The guy says to me, you're right. I say, take account. Look in the skies. What's all this for? Why is all this happening? What, what is all the science? Why, why do people behave the way they do? Observation, basic observation will lead us to so much understanding. That's why the Prophet says, Man arafa nafsaw, faqad arafa rabba. The one who knows himself will know his Lord. Indeed, that's first.